Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, Art Kirsch and I, film lovers extraordinaire, mind you, are with the man from Hollywood, Manny Pacheco. Manny, it's great to see you again. <laughs> Why did that just remind me of the man from Laramie with James Stewart? I, that's just I don't know what why that came up, but I guess that's a topic for another day. I don't know. It is. Uh, yeah. So you know, it's, guys, I was uh, looking through uh, a, an old iron box that I had in the other room, and it had my birth certificate, and it had uh, 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 ration cards that my mother saved uh, 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 from when I was a, just I, w I wasn't even a tank. I was, but I also in there. There was actually a certificate that indicated that I was born with two left feet. Oh. And, <laughs> and it got me to thinking that we've talked, <laughs> we've, we've spoken about Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly, fabulous dancers both. And uh, someday we ought to do just a shootout of who was better. And then to say, well, well, Kelly was better because of this. He's actually my favorite. Or Fred Astaire, who was an amazing dancer. But there or are. Ginger Rogers. Another one that name comes up always, yeah. Dozens and dozens and dozens of really fabulous dancers. It's almost like character actors where you know them, they, they're they the right one for the part, and you don't even necessarily know their name or they, they don't, you know, get that same star billing. But there, there have been dozens of dancers around, and I know that you know a lot about a lot. Can you talk about some of the, the people who have graced the screen, given us great performances, but aren't necessarily... But they just can't be as well known as as uh, Astaire or Kelly. Uh, they have some or, examples of that. Or Ginger Rogers or Sid Charisse. They, these were sure. all primarily known as quote unquote sure. dancers. You're yeah. talking about dancers that are not as well known or not talked about in 2022 that should right. be, that should right. be in the conversation. Well, there's so many to choose from. I, I guess I want to begin. Uh, in the 1930s with those Busby Berkeley musicals, and you would see the uh, the faces of all of these familiar uh, would-be actresses, and then one bursts onto the screen, and that's Ruby Keeler. Now, oh, Ruby yeah. Keeler didn't have a, a long career, but, I mean, obviously she made all those great Busby Berkeley musicals, and I, I think we can begin there. I think that's a good place to start. What sure. do you think? Yeah, yeah well, she's a classic now. Yeah. Was she, Manny, was Ruby Keeler in 42nd Street? Yes. 42nd Street was so her. She defined... kind of became a star in 42nd Street. Yeah, for a short time. Yeah, yeah. of course. And, and then th there were others that, that emerged. I want to mention the, uh, the brothers, the Nicholas brothers, oh, who would appear yeah. only for like one segment, and it would always be kind of a musical segment. Yep. And if anybody has ever taken the time to watch the Nicholas Brothers, I mean, even if you're familiar with them, what they did was nothing short but death-defying. Yes. They were they were doing things that nobody could do, and yeah. they were doing it on the screen. I mean, and, and the Nicholas Brothers were really some, we should not be forgotten, yet they're not in the conversation as much as they should be. Well, yeah. you know, an interesting thing about the Nicholas Brothers and a lot of these dancers that we're talking about, they were inserted into movies as a, like an act, like a right. nightclub act. That's right. And what's fascinating I found as a filmmaker, I found watching them, you don't see the, the film is cut very often. Right. They, they don't cut. These guys dance for five minutes and there's no, they just let the camera run. That's right. And they had three cameras, so they might go from one camera to the other, but that wasn't editing. That's just going from camera to camera. Exactly, That's that exactly. Yeah, yeah, whereas, no, whereas lot, much, much later, of course, you could have lots of people doing dance routines and they'd cut halfway through so they could choreograph the next part of really, it. Really, really good direction. Yeah, That's, and also that, in, in a lot of the early films, um, I was just uh, uh, thinking, as you guys were speaking, is that there were a lot of people who had been on Broadway, like uh, James Cagney and Jackie yes. Doodle Dandy. Okay, yes, M totally memorable. But you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have said, you know, give me a list of the top twenty people who were dancers in the movies and put James yeah. Cagney on the list. He was brilliant. Great, great choice there, Art. And and he would dance in the Busby Berkeley musicals as well. When he when he co-starred, there was there was always a dance number. He would beg to show off his dancing skills. He did not want to be 
typecast as just a gangster because he loved to dance. He was right, in, yeah. he was actually in the Seven Little Boys and does a fabulous number with Bob Hope. Yeah, uh, Bob Hope. Really, oh, yeah. On on a if I'm not mistaken, on a bar top. A, t- a table, table or a bar a top. Table. Yeah, like, and yeah. and they're they're kind of they're doing that dancing challenge. Tap 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 tap. Yes. Every, you know. It's a wonderful, wonderful scene. It's a and, great and, piece. And Bob Hope is another one. You don't think of Bob Hope as a hoofer. That's <laughs> that's right. That's exactly right. right. Now, in, in 1938, the best picture of the year was You Can't Take It With You. But featured in that film was a teenage Ann Miller. And her job primarily let everybody else tell the jokes, but she was dancing. And she would do a lot of ballet steps and a yeah. lot of little steps. And nobody knew the, the extent of Ann Miller's talent. And she was absolutely fabulous in many, yeah. many movies. And she could tap dance like no other. And speaking of which, if I don't mention Eleanor Powell as the most underrated great dancer of all time, and anybody who is watching this who is a cinephile, they're shaking their head going, yes, yeah. Eleanor Powell was the best. Yes. And nobody mentions Eleanor Powell, but she was absolutely terrific. There's a, a, a in one of the movies she did in like uh, 1940, she does a wonderful number uh, with uh, with the, the music of Begin the Begin. And I believe she's doing it with a stare. She might be solo, but but either way, she is absolutely flawless. I mean, there's yeah. just no other word. Eleanor Powell was one of the great dancers of all time and should be in the conversation more often. Oh, you yeah, absolutely. And as people like Ann Miller really went on to be she I think I remember her as a character actor. Right. And and I didn't know until I don't know, she was about 50 years old and I was what, 20 years old or something that she had a dancing career. She started out as a dancer and was a terrific dancer. People right. were talking about her legs, her beautiful legs. I never understood why. Well, most people found out about her in a commercial she did uh, for I, I don't know if it was it was for TV dinners or something, but anyway she 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 was dancing through the whole commercial and she was absolutely magnificent. And this yeah. is now we're talking the 1960s, so yeah. she had to be pushing 50 if not 50 already. Yeah. And then there are others of the 1940s. You know why we don't mention Vera Ellen? Oh boy, who was wonderful in Danny Kaye films. She was in Wonder Man. Yeah, uh, and of course we know her best in White Christmas, where she's dancing with Danny Kaye, and she does sure. this fabulous. Uh, she, if if I'm not mistaken, she was on in uh, On the Town. Does that was sound she, familiar? I, I might get might the, have, the title I, I would wrong. have to look that up. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> two sailors. I think Danny Kaye was one of them. Danny Kaye and no Frank uh, Sinatra and Gene Kelly. That's On the mm, Town. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that no, actually, no, no, but you know, you sort of slid over the fact that Danny Kaye was a Dipson dancer as well. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Kay, yeah. fabulous dancer. He, you know, no, look, he, he's no Gene Kelly, but no. he could hold his own. He was absolutely right. terrific as a dancer. Um, and, you know, while we're on the same subject of, of that kind of comedic uh, talent that could also dance, how about Donald O'Connor? Really? Oh, Donald O'Connor was just, he was funny, great as a sidekick, yes. but boy, you watch him in Singing in the Rain opposite Gene Kelly. I find myself looking at him, not Gene, and that's saying something. <laughs> yeah, his yeah. make him laugh, you know, routine was just tremendous. Yep. And you know something, I mean, you, you, we don't mention it because I think it was almost like a a one hit wonder. And uh, everybody who's seen any of the uh, behind the scenes of uh, Singing in the Rain knows that uh, Debbie Reynolds, okay, learned how to dance for the movie, okay. And there's this right. long and Gene story. Gene Kelly about was not happy with her work either. Right, uh, but uh, so but she had that one moment in the sun where uh, she she went from basically having to learn everything and and all the trials and tribulations and the problems with the feet and everything. and what came out on screen was magnificent. But again, that was like a one hit wonder. She didn't go out to dance in most of the well, other. She became things. a fine actress, though. Yes. Yeah, you're right about that. And the other one that talks about this very candidly, uh, I heard her in an interview at Turner Classic Movies Film Festival a couple of years back with Shirley MacLaine, she basically said that the studio system was really good at teaching folks how to do the whole thing. Diction, dancing, yeah. singing. I mean, the, just the whole thing. And she was at the tail end of that. But yeah. she did get to see how Ricardo Montalban 
responded as becoming a dancer. Peter Lawford. I mean, people like that, they were not known for their dancing, but they might have to do a number and they had to learn. And yeah. Shirley MacLaine became, and, and she was really good in Sweet Charity. And uh, and she was also really good in What a Way to Go. I mean, she could dance, and she has a number with Gene Kelly in What a Way to Go that's really, really good. Now, I have a trivia question for both of you, okay. and that is, who was the first person to dance with both Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire? The name will surprise you. Mickey Mouse. Oh, uh, not Mickey Mouse. <laughs> was it Donald Duck? No. The, the, the I know you're thinking of Tom and Jerry. You're thinking of Tom. Oh, Tom and Jerry. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Jerry, the Jerry the mouse. No, no, no. That wasn't. <laughs> well, well, it couldn't have been. It couldn't have been uh, uh, Adele dancing with both of them. No, his, his sister. No. It wasn't his sister. You made a real dancer. Rita Hayworth. Oh. Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth. We know, yeah, we all know she's a great actress. Gilda and the lady from Shanghai. I mean, she's terrific. But she wow. was a dancer. She was a great dancer. Wow. And she used her own with Fred, with uh, Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly. So there you go. Well, well, you know something. You know, uh, sometimes you like to. Uh, uh, I, we 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 have just enjoyed this. Uh, uh, what would you call it? Sort of like tiptoeing through the tulips with Manny. <laughs> but uh, but sometimes you you like to have a closing piece, uh, or do you just want to exit stage right rather quickly? Well, I would be I'd be dancing my way off stage, but I mean. <laughs> Well, I just wish the, the studio ethos existed today because wouldn't you like to, I mean, you get a, you get a sense of what might have been if you watch La La Land yeah. or you watch one of these, uh, the, these films like Moulin Rouge or The Greatest right. Showman. I mean, we're lucky that Hugh Jackman is, though he's a great actor, I mean, he's really a pretty darn good dancer as well. Yeah. But you don't get the sense that enough actors or actresses have that same kind of work ethic in the idea of, of choreography and dancing. And I think that's a, that's something we've kind of lost when the studio system went away. Mm. And I think the style of films just moved away from musicals, let's face sure. it. Yeah, and that's, I, I know I hate to end on a sad note, but we do have those black and whites and those glorious Technicolor films to, to fall back on, don't we? Yeah, you bet, you, you bet. Manny, thanks for bringing up some great memories. Well, thank you guys, appreciate it. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.